when I first saw the monkey, we were shocked because we weren't quite sure what it was. We knew that um, it was within one of the Langer species, but we didn't know exactly which one of the Langers it was. And the monkey is called Miller's Grizzled Langer. It's a, it's a fairly large gray monkey, and very little is actually known about this particular, this, this particular monkey. In within fact. this particular forest, these sepons had not been researched. Um, um, so what we did, um, we didn't have the time to sit there for four or five weeks to see what animals came, so we put a couple camera traps. And the beauty with the camera traps is you can sit them on a tree, and the, anything that walks in front of it, it takes pictures of them. And we set two camera traps at two different areas, two different salt licks, and we had them there for a period of two months. And within the first two weeks, we had photographed this monkey. There were no photographs of this monkey out there, so when we were trying to document and figure out whether this was Miller's grizzled langer that we actually found, we couldn't go and compare it with other photographs that other people had taken because there were no other photographs that anybody else had actually taken of this monkey. When we first saw the monkey, we were kind of shocked. Um, you know, for one thing, we didn't know that this monkey actually lived in Wahia, and, uh, and, it, and some thought it was even extinct. So when we saw those first images from this, from this you know, camera trap, it was, we, we were all pretty, pretty ecstatic. The fact that, wow, this monkey actually still lives, um, and it actually is found within Wahia. Now, the reason that the general public should care about the fact that this monkey still lives in Wahia Forest, I think, is twofold because, number one, the habitat for these particular monkey species is incredibly important for fighting things like global climate change, that the more forests we have left on the island of Indonesia, the more carbon which is stored within these forests. So as you destroy those habitat, you not only lose habitat for these animals like this you know, monkey species, but also because it is adding more carbon in, into the atmosphere. I think the other reason that the public should care is the fact that I think we have a moral imperative to protect as many species as there are on this planet. You've got a monkey like Miller's grizzled langur, which we know is still found in these forests, and I think that as long as it's still there, that we have to protect it. And we have to do everything in our power to make sure that it's there for generations to come.